Welcome everyone, today I have a presentation about living off the land binaries that are used by stealthy hackers. So in today's digital landscape, attackers are increasingly leveraging living off the land binaries to evade detection and carry out their malicious activities. So let's learn more about these lol bins together. So let's start with what are lol bins. So LOLBIN stands for living of the land binaries. So you can imagine as a uh, man surviving on the uh, nature, you should grow your own food, you should hunt fishing, you should uh, collect edible plants. So attackers are also leveraging hunting and fishing, living of the land techniques to evade detection. Living off the land means compromising the system using only tools coming with the operating system. If you were to check out the LOLBIN GitHub webpage, you would see that a LOLBIN must be a Microsoft signed file, either native to OS or downloaded from Microsoft. Have extra unexpected functionality. It is not interested to document intended use cases. For example, cert utility exit. You can Google this. Attackers can use certutil.exe to download, encode, and decode code or files, basically. Have functionality that would be used to an APT or Red Team. Plus, Microsoft already published an article about living off the land binaries uh, last year. Applications that can even bypass Windows Defender and how to block them. You can see there are a lot of files and uh, executables mentioned like cscript.exe, bash.exe, msbuild.exe. All of them can bypass Windows Defender. The next question is why lolbins? Why are attackers leveraging? Why are APT groups using lolbins? First of all, they are natively stored on the system. So you don't even need to download anything because they are signed by Microsoft and they are already pre-installed for you to use it. And LOLBINs play a crucial role in helping attackers maintain a low profile. Imagine you downloading a file from the web and the hash value of the file is malicious and the activities of the process is also malicious. So that, that will create a lot of alerts. But imagine you using certutil.exe to uh, download PowerShell code and then decode the code and run the code on memory. That would create less and less alerts compared to the first scenario. Understanding and detecting lolbins is key for blue team success in creating detection rules and investigating threats. So back in like uh, three, four years ago, uh, we didn't have such uh, integrated and e extended EDR solutions. So back then we had Carbon Black, FireEye. So we were adding these rules by hand to detect these living off the land binaries. But for today, if you were to use CrowdStrike or Sentinel-1, I guess those EXDR products will create uh, detections about lolbins. So the abuse of living of the land binaries by attackers can take various forms including bypassing security measures. Like I mentioned, uh, some of the executables that are pre-installed on Windows can be used to bypass Windows Defender. Lolbins can be used to escalate privileges and used for lateral movement. Lolbins can be used for data exfiltration. So I mentioned certutil.exe that has a download function. So imagine another lolbin, it has an upload function. So let's say you have a DLP, but DLP doesn't care about uh, all the applications. DLP is just looking at web browser traffic and maybe some of the other applications traffic, but it doesn't include the uh, bitsadmin.exe. I don't know. So that will not create a detection or any alert in your organization. Of course, lolbins are highly, highly used to remote command execution 
and fileless attacks. Examples of commonly abused lolbins include PowerShell.exe, CertUtil.exe, RegSRB32.exe, and VMI Controller.exe. So these are legitimate files, legitimate uh, uses, and they are used for managing certificates, registering DLLs, executing Windows management instrumentation commands, but can also be repurposed to malicious activities like executing code, downloading malware, and bypassing security controls. So let's take a look at some of the most used law bins together. I just collected 10 of the most used law bins, but if you check out the uh, GitHub webpage for Lolbass or Lolbin, however you may want to call, you will see there will be more than 100 executables readily available on any Windows system. Starting off with the first example, the most used one or the, the most known one is CertUtil. CertUtil.exe is a Windows binary used for handling certificates, but attackers abuse the download, decode, and encode functions of the certutil.exe. So here we can see two different command line arguments. It is used to download 7zip.exe, but imagine an attacker can download more malware on the system using certutil.exe. And on the right hand side, we can see that even though it creates an error, if we were to uh, check out the temp directory, we would see the file itself. Interesting. The second one, bitsadmin. It is used for managing background intelligent transfer. What does it do? Attackers can use and alternate data streams, download copy methods of this binary. So ADS is like another book, so you need to Google it. Alternate data streams, which means like, let's say you open your file explorer and you are weaving your files and some of the files are hidden. Think of like this. Attackers can create or alternate data streams to store malware on the system without you even noticing or without in any EDR product or antivirus product even noticing because it doesn't, it, it is not in the C drive. It is in C and then double column and then whatever the alternate data stream is under that data stream. Bitsadmin, it can be used to download something from the web. As you can see on the command line, it is now downloading autoruns.exe, but it could be also uh, downloading more malware on the system. And again, you can use Bitsadmin to copy something. So the third one, CMD key. This is not very known Lolbin example. But I just, uh, while I'm researching this, I just found out there is a, a software or executable known as CMD key. And if you were to run this CMD key slash list on your system, it would list every account, every uh, credential, like uh, you signed on or you logged in to any system, it will be listed. So. Even though the attacker uh, doesn't use Mimikatz to gather credentials, attackers can use CMD key slash list to list all the machines that you have connection with or all the uh, applications that you have signed on with which emails with a lot of details. And that is horrible. You can try it, this one on your Windows machine. The next one, mpcmdrun.exe. This one is fun because it is a binary part of Windows Defender used to manage settings in Windows Defender. Attackers can use Windows Defender to download malware, which is very ironic. So I just uh, took a screenshot from the project. MP mpcmdrun.exe can be used to download file via a parameter with URL. And here is an example attacker server beacon.exe and you can uh, even select the path to store it. So the next one is hh.exe. It is also can be used for downloading something from the web and executing something from the web as well. You can download it and then execute it. So hh.exe, http, some URL, script.ps1, and hh.exe, c windows system32, calc.exe.
The next one is mshta.exe. It is used by Windows to execute HTML applications, as known as .hta extension. If you were to see mshta create command.exe or create wscript.exe or mshta is even ran on the system, you can think there is suspicious activity. Attackers are leveraging this mshta.exe and if you're an analyst, if you're uh, seeing those alerts, mshta.exe runs something, immediately take some action and report to your level 2 or level 3 analyst. Another example from Lolbin, psr.exe. It's not very common. psr.exe is Windows Problem Steps Recorder used to record screen and clicks. N not even downloading from something from the web. Attacker can record your screen and your clicks via psr.exe. The next one is msbuild.exe. It is actually uh, used by attackers. So in most cases, some user downloads something from the web it is malicious and the hash value of the file is malicious or the structure or the static analysis made by the antivirus comes out as malicious or suspicious and then it is quarantined, right? But assume that uh, attacker is using msbuild.exe to build the executable in your system because it is readily available. The attacker doesn't need to download like VS code to uh, build a software or executable right because the ms build is already available on the system so i mentioned only 10 of the lolbas executables living of the land binaries you can check out the github web page that i will share in the description there are at least 40 native windows executable that has a download function and at least 100 windows executable that has execute function that means with 40 ways attackers can download something from the web and over 100 ways attackers can execute something in your machine without creating a detection or alert. Thank you for listening. I will see you next time.